I recently referenced phonetic inventories, that is, the list of sounds that a language considers valid, and how mismatches between someone's native language and their second language could cause them to be misunderstood. But that's not the only reason why second language speakers sound different. Enter phonotactics. These are the rules governing how sounds can be combined. Consider the word bnick. While English's phonetic inventory contains both B sounds and N sounds, combining them together as a syllable onset is not allowed according to English's phonotactics. Compare this with blick, which is not an English word, but sounds like it could be. A more practical example would be the silent Ks in words like no and need and night. Earlier versions of English did pronounce these Ks, but changes to English's phonotactics means we no longer do because the K-N combination as a syllable onset is no longer considered valid. Of course, the spelling is retained simply because no one bothered to change it. English phonotactics allow for consonant clusters, but other languages like Japanese have phonotactics that do not. That is why when someone with a thick Japanese accent is speaking English, or when Japanese borrows English words, they need to break up those consonant clusters by inserting vowels. This is how English orchestra becomes Japanese okesutora, which is the same oke from karaoke or karaoke.